Hello everybody and today I just want to sit down and talk about my cream blush collection. So it's basically going to be a cream blush favorites video as well because everything in my collection is my favorite but I don't want to go into like I don't know sometimes when I feel like I do favorites videos I try and give such in-depth detail and I'm editing it and I'm just like I just don't care. <laughs> I want to give quick sweet reviews and obviously if they're in this video they're my favorite so I'm gonna try and keep it a little bit shorter because I think it's just fun to know what I'm enjoying and then a general idea of the formula and I'm also going to film a powder version of this so if you're curious about my powder blush favorites that video should be up soon after this one so I'm just going to jump right in I'm going to start with the blush that I have not been able to stop wearing. I bought this for Black Friday. It was before Black Friday, like it came in in November and I regretted buying it after I bought it and I didn't start using it until February, I think. February, maybe late January. So I didn't start using it for a while and I thought I was just going to instantly declutter it and I don't know what it is about this blush, but I've been forcing myself, no, I haven't even been forcing myself. This is the first day in several weeks where I haven't worn this blush. Granted, I wasn't wearing makeup a ton because I have eczema on my eye, but every other day I was wearing this. It's the Rose Ink Lip and Cheek Color in Heliotrope. I mean, just look at the color of this. The most perfect everyday color. I'm obsessed. I think this is like what I want the Tower 28 blush formula to be like now. It's still a little bit thicker like the Tower 28 blushes, but it's not as balmy and it dries down a little bit more. Um, it still stays a little bit glowy, but I do set my face and it's just so easy to apply. I don't feel like it sticks in one place. I just use my e.l.f. stipple brush, but it lasts all day long and it's just so pretty. Really easy to put on. I just do a few dabs, put it on my cheek and it blends itself. So. This is the shade Heliotrope. It looks more like the outside stuff, but that's where my brush has been. Um, the most perfect everyday nude color that isn't too warm, but it leans a little bit warm. It does look like a toilet seat, the packaging, but I'm surprised by how much I like this. And even though like, I don't think the formula is like groundbreaking, like obviously I used it and I was like, it's fine. There's just something about it, like I don't have any complaints about this blush, so I would definitely pick up more colors. If you have a favorite color in this formula, let me know. Maybe I will pick it up just because the color on this is perfect, it goes with all of my looks, and I'm obsessed. By the way, if you're wondering, I've been wearing this makeup for like, I don't know, 12 plus hours, so it doesn't really look like it anymore, but I am wearing the Bare Minerals Kiss of Pink blush, which is a powder. I forced myself not to use the rose ink one, but... Next, I will go with my other, I don't even know. This is probably my number one favorite formula of a cream blush, but this color is just so good. Um, these are the M Cosmetics So Soft blushes. I have three, I got one in PR, but I purchased two of them several weeks before getting these in PR. So the ones that I purchased were Venetian Rose and Bitten, and then I got Lychee in PR. Venetian Rose and Bitten are my favorite of the three. I posted swatches of all my M Cosmetic blushes on my Instagram if you're curious. It actually did really well and boosted my account a lot. So check it out. But these are the three colors, Lychee, Bitten, Venetian Rose. I think Venetian Rose is definitely my most worn because it's just that like everyday, slightly cool toned color. It looks like that. Like it just goes with literally everything. And it is a really beautiful, I mean, it's their signature color for a reason. You can't go wrong with anything Venetian Rose. But I really enjoy Bitten, especially in the winter time because it's more of like a warm berry. It has a quite a bit amount of like pinkness to it that when you sheer it out on the cheeks, it just looks like a beautiful winter flush. And I need to pull it out more, but it's just so beautiful. I feel like if you don't want to wear eyeshadow, this all over the cheeks will give you the prettiest look. And then lychee I think is more of a basic color and I haven't worn it as much, but it's like that pastel melon type of color. And I think it's really pretty and I'll wear it over the summer, but it's definitely like these two pinkier tones are more my colors, but this is a nice melon color. I just need to reach for it more, but this formula, like the name suggests, is so soft. It goes on so smoothly. Like, 
it just looks airbrushed on the skin and it sets down not completely but it does like dry down a bit which i really do enjoy especially living in the heat so i love the formula on these and the colors are just the colors of cream blushes are what really do it for me and the colors on those are just phenomenal next the phytosurgeon's cream blush in the shade fume if you either don't have access to M Cosmetics or you want to save a little bit of money, this blush is very similar to Venetian Rose and it has the same sort of quality where it dries down. So, okay, it doesn't look so similar on my hand. Whenever I swatch this one next to Cool Stone stuff especially, it looks really warm, but to me in my head, they're the same sort of thing. Like when I'm going for the same look, they're the same so it's a little bit warmer of a color but generally i would say most people agree that fume is that perfect neutral pink that isn't warm because a lot of these type of colors lean super peachy and super warm um so i do like this one let me clear my notifications um as you can tell it is a little bit peachier but when you're not swatching them side by side i feel like they give a similar look to the cheeks just maybe the undertones are a little bit different and they give me the same vibes. Like I would reach for them in the same instances, so I don't necessarily need both, but I do enjoy both. This one, you can see the texture is like a really cool, like whipped moussey texture. And this one dries down. So I really enjoy this one. Uh, it probably dries down a slight bit more than M Cosmetics one, but it's not drying or powdering or anything like that. And it is very, very pigmented. The M Cosmetics ones are too, but because this one is more of a whipped formula and this one is a stick, you can pick up a lot more of the phytosurgeons one so just be really careful on your brush but it does blend out effortlessly and it's a beautiful cream blush formula i would love to try more colors but i really should not <laughs> i'm gonna swatch the rose ink blush because i feel like this also fits in the family of venetian rose i don't like how this one swatches because it feels super thick which is why i didn't buy it for so long because i just thought it was going to be really thick but when i apply it with a brush it's the same okay you can tell i have a type so this one is pretty similar to venetian rose just a slight bit lighter so they all look different on my hand but essentially they give you the same sort of vibe so if you have one i don't really think you need the other because you're never going to wear blush this built up on your cheeks so i'd say just go with the undertone that you like or the brand that you like or whichever one is more accessible to you turn the lighting a little bit up as the sun is setting okay another one that fits right in the same vibe for me is the say beauty blush the dew blush in the shade rosy these are my favorite sort of colors where they're just kind of like everyday pinks and they're all slightly different but i definitely don't need them all because they serve the same purpose and i don't want to like i don't care about slight undertone differences because they serve the same purpose for me so i will swatch this one up here i promise she's fine um this one is the most poppy of the bunch the other ones are a little bit more muted but this one definitely is definitely like peach like it has peach in its undertones um it's not when i'm looking on my hand phytosurgeons definitely has more of that neutrally pink tones and the say blush has a lot of orange behind it so they look more different in real life but again to me all four of these colors you only need one of them because they all kind of serve the same purpose and they all will just look slightly different depending on your undertone the same one is my least favorite of the bunch because again it is a little bit more orange and i like things a little bit more pink and also it's a liquid i don't know if i showed you but i like pans the best which is why i reach for the rose ink and the phytosurgeons um i don't really love liquids but this one for a liquid it blends out really easily she had a lot of fans on my last video so i thought she should say hi since she's being a little bit uh loud right now it blends out really easily because it is a really wet formula and it is a little bit more dewy but you just put a few dots on and it blends out really seamlessly it doesn't set down because it is a little more dewy formula but it's not dewy like the m cosmetics uh serum drops like it's not overly dewy it just has that glow to it this isn't going to be completely accurate to the dry downs but you can kind of tell the m cosmetics one has the most dry down followed by the phytosurgeons and then the rose ink and then the say beauty and the say beauty is dewy by a long shot so all depends on what you're going for but i think all four of those colors and formulas well all four of the colors are similar and i would just pick whatever formula you like best. i would put the other three above the say beauty 
but I love them all and I don't think you can really go wrong. Next, jumping into my more pink territory. This is still my everyday sort of blush, but it is a little bit more of a warm pink. Um, one of my favorites is the Melt Cream Blush Light in the shade Polished. This in the summer, I was literally obsessed with this last year. So here it is on my hand. Obviously blush all is pretty similar, but this one definitely has more warmth to it, more pinkiness to it, and I think that this fits in a different category from these blushes. So this formula is the most unique out of any blush that I have. It's almost like an oil in the pan, like a cream oil, because it's super, super thin when you glide your finger across. Like your finger will just glide in the pan. And then when you put it on your face, it blends out super easily and completely sets down. It sets down the most out of all of the blushes that I've swatched. But because this one, this color in particular, is a shimmer, it still does have a nice glow to it. So I love this one in the summer because I do not have to worry about it going anywhere. I don't have to worry about setting it. And it's so easy to apply with your fingers because it is so thin. So I highly recommend that formula. I think it's underrated, but that is polished. I think it's the prettiest summer color. It looks like you've been in the sun and I adore it. Um, my other favorite pink is the Patrick Ta She's That Girl. Completely different formula though. This one is pretty thin and translucent with a bit of a glow. And the colors are pretty different. When you swatch them side by side, She's That Girl is definitely a true pink. I'm dropping everything. It's a true, like, I don't know, fresh looking pink. It's what I wear like as my everyday pink blush because it just is a fresh pink blush look versus the melt one i think is a beautiful summer color so this one is a more true pink and this one is a warm pink so it just depends what you want to go for and the patrick ta one has more glow to it and it has a little bit more translucency to it i do prefer the melt formula but the patrick ta one is loved by many the melt one just lasts a little bit longer and sets down a little bit better for me this one also this is not she's that girl <laughs> but these also have powders so Depends what you want to go for. Melt is like $20 if you just want a new cream blush to spice up your life. Um, up to you. The other colors that I have in these, I have She's So LA. Haven't pulled this one out in a while, but I'm hoping to get some good use out of it over the summer because it's totally different from the rest of my cream blushes. It is right there. It's like a reddish brown. You can tell I have a lot of pinks and I need to stop buying them. And if I buy any new blushes, they need to actually be different than these, but... It is more of a brown color and it's a little bit intimidating and I wasn't really into it, but when I got it and I tried it out, it does just look like the most beautiful, bronzed, a little bit sun-kissed look and I do really enjoy it for the summertime and I actually might pull it out very soon because I've just been using a lot of pinks. I've been using either these colors or this pink and this one is really unique to me and I think a lot of people, especially in the summertime, would really enjoy it. And then lastly, I have the color Oh She's Different, which I did get in PR, oh my gosh. Um, haven't worn this one on my face, but it is the berry color. And oh, it's so satisfying swatching these because the formula is really thin and wet. This color, I do love a good berry because I think they look so pretty, especially in the winter. It is right here. It's not as intimidating because these formulas are pretty sheer that I feel like even if you're pale, it'll work just fine. It has a little bit more purple, I guess, but not like a cool tone purple, just a little bit more reddish depth compared to this true bright pink. I will swatch it a little bit more, but I don't know. I like the formula of these. It's just not in my top three. So there's that one. I don't think it's necessary in my collection and I'm not sure if I'll keep it, but I do want to keep trying it out. So that is my cream blush collection. I feel like I used to have so much more. Actually, I will share with you this Patrick Ta palette really quick. Regret buying this uh, kind of, and I also broke it. I was swatching it for Tara and I dropped it on the ground and this thing fell out. So I don't really know what to do. These are the colors in here. I bought this because everyone was talking about it and it was selling out like crazy. So I decided to buy it and I really don't use it or need it, but these shades are available in full size now, so I figured it's worth showing you guys in case you're a bit or interested in any of these shades. I can't really recommend them because 
I haven't used them enough, so I can't give you an opinion on them, but it's the same formula that I have used, so I know that it's good. These are very pigmented though, so let me find the shades for you. Okay, so this one is She's a Doll, and you can tell compared to this one. This one is a bright, bright pink. So I would go with this pink for like an everyday pink. That one is really nice and bright for summer though. This corally color is She's Vibrant. Again, for me, if I'm gonna go for like a warm summer color, I do like more like polished, but I am excited to wear this one in particular over summer. And then this one is She's Baked. So you can see that compared to the other blushes, it has a little bit more, I guess, red to it. Um, not in the same way, this is She's So LA, this is She's Baked. It just has that more red to it versus She's So LA is definitely more brown. So those are the new colors. Um, not sure if I'll keep this palette. Um, especially because one side of it broke. Um, probably just gonna figure out a way to fix that though, because I'm sure it's not that hard. But the formula on these is really pigmented, especially on those two highlighter shades, like these two. So just be careful of that. But I know they are available in full size and a lot of people have been buying them. So anyways, that is my cream blush collection. Um, honestly, if I were to recommend stuff the most, it would be the M Cosmetics So Soft blushes, the Fido Surgeons blushes, the Melt blush, and then the Rosy blush just for the color. But I feel like the formula on the other threes beats this formula just because those are a little bit more special. But those are my four favorites. The rest I still enjoy because they're still in my collection, but I could see myself decluttering them down the line. But these four are just so good and such innovative formulas to the market. They really bring something new with their dry down and their colors. So I really do enjoy these. Let me know what your favorite blush is down in the comments and be sure to look out for my powder blush version of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.